On a scale of one to cool, how cool do you feel right now? About seven. mode because it snowed here in England and it's causing mayhem. Um, the current situation is as follows. It snowed a lot in England. It's causing us all kinds of problems like whether or not we can even get to London, all the trains are cancelled, we're gonna drive, hopefully we'll get there just fine. Emma was supposed to be running the bath half. The bath half has now been cancelled. Bless her, she was gonna run the bath half, get on a train, she was gonna come meet us. Obviously the bath half has been cancelled now which is rubbish for everybody that wanted to run the bath half. Some of the merchandise that we've ordered um, to sell couldn't be delivered and we sold a lot more than we had expected uh, at Cardiff which was great but we're a bit low so we need more. The biggest crisis of the moment is that the Norisa's flight has been cancelled. So as of this moment we are desperately trying to find a plan B um, which will mean that we have an alternate group to come and perform with us or desperately trying to get the Norristers on a flight bless them like it's the start of their tour too they want to be here we're doing everything we can to make sure that Sunday is go ahead snow just causes absolute chaos in the UK oh well this is what we do in Aquapella because this always seems to happen to us um, we will be resilient and resourceful and fight back and we will put on the show Hi folks. Hi. It's taken us approximately like 12 hours to... No, I'm, I'm exaggerating. <laughs> it's taken us a long, long time to get to London because of the blizzard. Storm Emma does not love us right now. All of our buses were cancelled so we've had to hop on a train. It's probably been the longest two and a half hours, three hours of my life. We finally got a seat. We good. got a seat. We're seeing all the positives. Four hours later. Four hours later. <laughs> So it is about 11 o'clock at night and the Nor'easters have just messaged to say that they have been told they will not be being put on a flight until um, Sunday evening. Nor'easters will not be performing with us which is absolutely gutting and I'm gutted for them that they're missing the first act of their tour. It was exciting for us to get to perform with them. Um, for Mind as well which obviously is a charity close to both of our group's hearts. Bit of uh, emergency organisation to do to come up with a bit of a backup plan for Sunday but um, yeah currently it will just be us on Sunday which you know it's no bad thing because we've got a good show to put on. Um, yeah we're just gonna have to go and make the most of it. This is phase one of hashtag get aquapella to bath, uh, no not to bath, oh <laughs> damn it! This is phase one of hashtag get aquapella to London. We're hiking across Bath to grab my parents car because Ollie's car's <laughs> broken down. We'll see how it goes, we'll update you shortly. <laughs> Even though Ollie is actually walking in front of us, he's coming with us to pick up the car. Fingers crossed, we'll all get there. Oh, what? The bus is half running. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hello. Got the bus, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, it's now Saturday morning, um, and the current situation is the Nor'easters still can't get here. Um, they're still trying to get on a flight, but yeah, no change there. Um, and we are now going to pick up some more people and head to London. So we're just at a petrol station now. We're gonna get some antifreeze and some snacks and make sure we're stocked up and then we're off. The sliding slope of death. It's for the content, boys. All right, I'm gonna take a running start today, right? <laughs> the bag. <laughs> 
see some of you may be thinking, oh look, they've got a giant van, three giant vans. Which one's ours? <laughs> Summarise what's happened. What's um, happening is that we're in a new car. Well, um, let's not say new. And Ollie's never driven it before, but apparently it's like lighter than me. We've already stalled twice. <laughs> We've been driving for two minutes. <laughs> You know? You're so mean to me. <laughs> yeah, Michael Dominic. So, as you can see, we've picked up Georgia. Yay! Finally. Getting out of Oldfield was hell. Probably should have filmed that. That would have been nice footage. Oh, well. Good job, I filmed it. Did you? No. Why would you do this? <laughs> that's, that's, that's helpful. Mean. See, it's constructive stuff like this, which is why we have Georgia with us. It's really add to the group dynamic. It's helpful. So many in the side. Hello. Um, oh, it's sludgy. We are at Memory Services. So, oh, Lydia fell in the snow. Yeah, we're just chilling out here for a bit, having a bit of a group social. We're going out to dinner a bit later, and then from there we're dividing off to different houses to stay the night. We're ready for a bit of a social. We're here! <laughs> Oh, we're down to three. You should be arguing that it's not you. Just how how many people are left alive? You two are left alive. Yeah, but how many people are left alive? We don't know. We don't know. I'm not going to tell you because you I'm not going to tell you. You don't reveal who you have. What's the book? Well, cast our slips and dies, and you're all eliminated. Yeah! 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 Ye
yeah, we're on our way to the venue now. Everybody's excited. Yo. We didn't even see the... Like the front door. Lovely dinner upstairs. We're just listening to all the King's men sound check. My lipstick looks terrible. Lydia's not impressed because she hasn't had a Burger King before and she's decided she's not going to like it. So you had what? I have chicken strips, four chicken pieces. No, four chicken strips. Oh my goodness, I'm so tired, I'm delirious. Michael, what are you after? I don't want to get mugs again, but I will just get mugs. <laughs> I'm a very simple person. We're all exhausted. It's a very long and emotional weekend. So I think it's just taken it out of me and everybody. But it was really good. It was a really good performance. And all the Kings men were amazing. And huge thanks to them for pulling through at the last 
moment. Sam might be that. Me? <laughs> oh, I've got a chipotle chicken toasted from Costa and a hot chocolate because I just wanted one. So we've had a quick stop off at the service stations. We got ourselves some snake and some food. So the only thing left to say really is thanks to everyone who came out to come see us and support us. It was lovely seeing you all. <laughs> we had a great time, we hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you in London in two weeks. I don't want your body.